Hey, I'm Wispy, and this video will be a bit different than usual. I do have an outline to go off, but I just have so much stuff to discuss, I will mostly be adding things as I go. So, I recently finished making my first webtoon. It's a fantasy story about three girls and how they help the god of their world. I made this story in just under two years. It was adapted from a high school story, which originally was three seasons long and ended very differently, with the villain being more of the traditional type. So today I want to discuss some things that made making this comic a bit easier, some criticisms I have of the comic, but as well as the things that I think worked well and the stuff that I liked. So to start with the tips and shortcuts. I always wrote the script at least a chapter ahead and I always knew how the story would end, but I did leave flexibility for changes I would come up with. As for some art shortcuts, the first one I did was reused backgrounds. Something I'm really proud of is every single frame had a background that made sense. One of the things I don't really like in comics is when the backgrounds don't make sense for a scene or if they're just like a colour, because it really makes the character feel like they're not in that environment. But I think a background really does ground the scene in a way that is really important. Sometimes I'd reuse the backgrounds and like blur it a little bit. I think blurring the backgrounds helped add a bit of dimensionality. Another thing I did was I had reference sheets for every single one of the main characters and I would trace these frequently. <laughs> I think tracing is fine as long as it's not someone else's art and when you're tracing your own art as a reference it can be really helpful especially as a shortcut tactic. Uh, during this video I'll be playing a lot of speed paints and you'll probably be able to see where I trace stuff. Um, it really helps keep the characters looking consistent and makes sure that you don't have to like draw a new character in every single panel. Another thing I would do was reuse panels, sometimes from the same chapter and sometimes from previous chapters to uh, speed things up a little bit. Um, often I would change the expression a lot so that it didn't feel like the exact same panel. But these shortcuts are great for a first time comic, just as time saving tips and to make sure that you're not spending like 10 years on your first comic. <laughs> that would be insane. Um, but I wouldn't recommend these tips for something more professional, or like something you wanted printed, for example. I think it worked great in a webtoon, but probably not something uh, like your traditional webcomic where it's just a page and not a scrolling format. Because when you repeat panels or repeat backgrounds in like an overall page, you can really tell. So next are the criticisms, yay! The criticisms I have for my own comic, because I am very critical of my work and myself. Uh, one of my favourite things is to remake things, and I do that a lot with this comic. <laughs> Firstly, I'll be critiquing the shortcuts that I just discussed, uh, which I feel kind of cheap in the art and makes the art feel repetitive. Um, some of the scenes are a bit blurry because I would uh, like scale up. A, um, a scene that I had used previously and because that wasn't a vector it meant that the it would get all grainy. If I felt like it I would trace that scene again to make it look better but sometimes I just didn't and as a result I have a few quite blurry panels left which I might go back and change in the future but I might not, who knows. The next point is more story focused. The story I have that's about the, um, the three main characters, the girls and two of the gods I feel like these kind of conflict and can often make um, the story feel very disconnected and like two different stories are happening at once. By the end of the comic, the girls are a bit overshadowed. This story could have been entirely a slice of life, um, but the gods being involved just makes the stakes a bit too high and makes the plot feel weirdly paced and disconnected. Uh, this is possibly my biggest criticism, is just the story doesn't feel like it was written as a cohesive whole. Um, but that's because I would change things a lot and this story is extremely old, so <laughs> that's why that happened. This story is a little bit too long for a first comic, I feel. I definitely should have made like a one shot of these characters first. I guess I kind of did that in the original draft where I made three chapters and then ditched it for like a full year. But overall, <laughs> this project really drained my soul. But now it feels weird not working on a panel every day or every couple days. So now I have this hole in my life which I'm currently trying to fill with video making. Yay. <laughs> 
the story changes I wrote, as I've already discussed, which can be seen through the changing log lines, which I might show on screen, who knows. Um, the log lines should show the themes and focus of the story, and uh, because the log line changed so much, it meant the story and themes were constantly changing, which isn't good. <laughs> as for the characters, Haley didn't get her backstory explained or have an arc. I feel like character arcs are something that's very important to have in a story and the other two girls had a little bit of an arc um notos one of the gods especially had an arc um but Haley just kind of got forgotten which is a shame because she's like one of my favorite characters which i shouldn't say because all the characters are my favorite sylvie's anxiety could have been emphasized uh more frequently it was brought up in chapter one and a little bit later on but overall not really and i feel like um it was an important trait that kind of got left behind uh mud belladonna's familiar disappears part way through the comic and wasn't seen for a few chapters and he's not as important a character as i hoped for he was sort of meant to be like kind of this distrustful, more serious part of Belladonna because she's quite cheerful. She's that isn't seen all the time, but she is quite a cheerful character. And he was supposed to be kind of like a foil to that and like challenge her perspective. But that didn't really come up as often as I hoped for. <laughs> the Heart Spell, the title of the comic, wasn't important in the end. It could have been completely forgotten about. And at that point, I only added it because I was like, well, if I don't add it here, then the title's not going to make sense. <laughs> I wish that I could have involved it in a way that it was more pivotal to the story, but it wasn't <laughs> in the end. The university setting, which is present in the first couple of chapters, isn't as important as I hoped for. It's pretty much just a location for the characters to meet, which isn't, in my opinion, isn't a good enough reason for it to exist. I could have had more like magic classes or like shown Haley's fighting classes. There could have been more interpersonal drama, but the scope of the story went too big for that and th the classes just didn't have time to come up. Chapters seven to nine were very loose uh, in terms of the script until the end. Yes, I said nine because for a while chapter eight didn't exist. So there were only nine chapters of the comic. But I do like that I added chapter 8 because it's an important break in the story and allows things to kind of absorb and think about what uh, is happening. It's a good bonding chapter. That's why um, my quote unquote beach episode exists because it's a good bonding moment for the characters. Continuing on uh, with things I actually do like. <laughs> I had to draw things I wouldn't draw usually and had to make new poses more frequently. I feel like I improved in my art overall, although this might not just because of making the, the comic. My favorite chapter, I feel like my favorite chapter is definitely the beach episode because uh, for one, the backgrounds were really easy. There's a couple of really dynamic panels of Sylvie where she's swimming in the water that I think look really nice. And I just think it's a nice character moment, which I think I could have brought throughout the whole comic more. The characters, their designs are cool and interesting, and each one is very different and unique and fun to draw. Uh, each character has their signature colour, which is an important part of character design. Overall, all the colours just show their personalities really well. Let me discuss the character colours. Haley was pink, which is warmer and more aggressive, which shows her personality great. Um, Belladonna is purple for magic. Um, I guess it doesn't show much about her personality, but I guess out of all the characters, she is like the most feminine one. Um, Sylvie is blue for her anxiety and reservedness, and it's also blue for the ocean, because she's a mermaid. <laughs> uh, Notos is dark blue for the night sky, and aside from that, it's just like a more- I feel like it's a more mature colour, because he is a sort of older character. But yeah, overall, I got to smush a bunch of my favorite things together, like magic and witches and different and like winged people <laughs> like elves. I got to draw um, elves a lot, which is lots of fun. Um, and this is honestly the thing that I would recommend most for someone who's write making a webcomic. Just smush it full of your favorite things, as long as it makes sense, I guess. <laughs> as for the story, this was probably the best I could make for now. Uh, with more experience, I could definitely make a better story, but it would require me to go back and rewrite like everything <laughs> and it would be such a pain. If I was to write, rewrite it, I would probably have a season focusing on, you know what, I'd, I'd even have a comic that just focuses on the girls and the gods would be like their own separate comic. 
<laughs> it would be they're an, an entirely different thing. I did like that the story didn't have a romance focus. Haley and Belladonna were always going to be together. There was no point in making it a will they won't they. And honestly, just writing the version of the story where it was was just painful for me. <laughs> There's no point in tricking the audience if it's obvious. <laughs> and instead the comic was able to show lots of different kinds of love, such as friendship and parental bonds, which strangely became one of the main themes of the comic. However, I don't really consider it a win since it wasn't kept in mind from the start. Even though that uh, prologue does exist, with Notos being introduced, I feel like it still just, it just still feels so disconnected. <laughs> uh, my next project. Now that this is over, I have other plans <laughs> because I, I cannot sit still for the life of me and I always need to be making something. So my next project, it's a traditionally drawn manga, which is new for me. I don't draw traditional very often, so this will be lots of fun. Um, it's only four chapters long with the core themes and logline already concrete and the entire thing is written, which is great because it feels like so much more of a cohesive project than uh, Heartspell ever was. <laughs> Uh, I'm very excited to try some new techniques and develop my skills with art and improve on my overall techniques. I will be taking my time with this one. I will be releasing pages with no schedule, but full chapters will be up on Webtoon close to when the comic is finished. But I will be making the comic its own website. I will. I am currently considering Comic Fury for that. I'll just be posting there as I feel like pages should be up basically. I'll be giving myself significant buffer because I currently don't know how long it's going to take for a page to be made and how long my motivation is going to be staying with this kind of huge big scale project. But I have made one test panel <laughs> which I think came out pretty good. I'll be trying to improve my techniques and doing a bunch of studies to overall improve <laughs> how this comic will look when I actually start to make it properly I guess. Uh, as for future heart spell projects, the comic story is done with no planned extra mini stories for now. I might go back and touch up panels if I feel like it, which I've been doing the whole time I've been making the comic. There is one final animation I have planned as a final goodbye from me to these characters, who have been in my head non-stop for the past four years. <laughs> I might um, use these characters in future animations, but nothing's concrete yet. But overall, yes, thank you to those who read the comic and watched this whole video. It's probably been an indecipherable mess. <laughs> um, it's been great letting out all these thoughts, and I hope it's been useful if you're writing your own story or making a comic for the first time. <laughs> but yeah, I'll see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>